Wildlife biologists from around the world rely on harvested game teeth to determine the age of an animal. But there are only a few tooth aging labs in the world, and one of them is located in Milltown, Montana. Biologists need to know the ages of their populations in order to manage them correctly. And so that's why there was a niche for us, and that's why the technique began to be used. Matson's lab has become a sole source for aging animal teeth from around the world, including African bats, wildebeest, walrus, and polar bear. Every mammal species you can think of that is harvested through hunting or trapping is one that we've processed teeth for. Matson's process uses chemicals to treat the tooth. A thin slice is then cut and put onto a slide to be analyzed. Technicians look for a pattern similar to counting tree rings to determine the age of an animal. One surprising thing is how old these animals live. Bears uh, can live to be as old as 40. Uh, the elk and moose in the 20s, and the oldest cats around 15. After more than 40 years of aging teeth, Matson has seen how tooth age analysis has become an important tool in wildlife biology. And he hopes his small town lab will continue to provide this unique service to the world's wildlife biologist. I feel very gratified to have, have had it accepted the way it is because it has a definite niche in wildlife biology in North America and other places in the world. If I counted every Winston Greeley, Adamung Montana's fish, wildlife and parks.